Mexican style elote, or you might call it Mexican street corn. Either way, it's really good. So here I have four ears of corn. And they did come cleaned already. There is some corn silk on here, so I will have to clean that. But I'm going to boil two, and the other two I'm going to put in the oven. And I'm going to cook it both ways because I'll be honest, I don't like the taste of boiled corn, but I do like the texture of the corn when it is cooked in the oven. Okay, so I have my oven preheating to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and now I am going to take a large piece of aluminum foil, line it with some parchment paper, and I'm going to place two ears of corn. But first, I'm going to clean off the corn. And for those of you that always watch my videos, you know this little guy is never far behind. Thank goodness for safety locks. Okay, so back to the corn. I'm going to clean the corn, give the corn a quick rinse, place it on my aluminum foil and parchment paper, give it a tight wrap, and bake it for 30 minutes in a preheated oven set at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so now that that is in the oven, here I have a big pot of boiling water. And now it's time to cook my other two ears of corn. And I just wanted to show you, I cleaned everything off, gave it a quick rinse, and it is ready to go into the pot of boiling water. But I am going to add salt. And I know some people also add a little bit of sugar to bring out the sweetness in the corn, and you can do that. But I find that salted water works just as well. To the water they go and I will be boiling these for around 15 to 20 minutes. Okay so now it's on to the toppings. So when I do buy Mexican street corn I notice they put a mayonnaise on it, some butter, some crema, cotija cheese or parmesan cheese and I want to start with the cream part. So they put mayo and sometimes they put Mexican crema so I'm just going to combine it and I'm going to add the lime because lime is an essential part of your Mexican street corn. So I'm just going to combine it. The reason why I do that is because I like an even distribution of all the flavors. And for me, if I combine it into one sauce, it gets the job done. So you can do it separately, but this is just something I like to do. So here I have a half cup of mayonnaise, a half cup of Mexican crema, and half of a lime. I am going to combine them all together, give it a good whisk, and this sauce is very forgiving. And what I mean by that is you don't really have to measure it out. It's to whatever you like. But I think this is a good place to start. And now I wanted to show you the other ingredients I will be using. Here I have some Parmesan cheese. You could use cotija cheese or whatever cheese you have. 
I'm also going to be using tajin and tapatio sauce. And this pretty much rounds out what I am going to be putting on my corn, aside from the extra lime. Okay, so my boiled corn is ready, and now I'm just going to dress it. But first, I'm going to add the little stick that goes on the corn to help you hold it. And I just wanted to show you, you want to give it a firm press, by the way, and that's why you want to work with a not-so-hot piece of corn. But here, I've just taken a wooden chopstick, cut it with my kitchen shears in half, and that is it. Now back to the corn. Here we go. Now I'm ready to dig in. So you want to see what happens to corn when I get a hold of it? Yeah, this poor piece of corn never stood a chance. Okay, so my other corn that was roasting in the oven is ready and the house smells wonderful. And I do really think utilizing the corn husk not only maintains the moisture of the corn, but it just really permeates that roasted corn smell. It just, oh, I can't wait to dig in. Don't judge me, but I think I'm going for a second corn. So I hope you give this recipe a try, I hope you like it, and thanks for watching! Hey guys, you can click on the video icons for more recipes, or you can click on my picture icon to subscribe. Thanks for watching!